Hey everybody, this is Keith. Uh, I just have something I want to talk about today, something that um, came to my mind the other day, uh, the other night I should say, and it's about looking for the gaps. I know a lot of people have said that, motivational speakers and so on and so forth, but um, you know, maybe if we hear it a different way, maybe if I say it a certain way, maybe it'll, it'll click with some people. So when I say look for the gaps, I'm specifically talking about having a mindset that's always looking to improve upon something. Uh, having a mind that's always thinking of what can make things better, what what is um, not necessarily what's broken, because there's, there's this old saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But I was thinking of the day it actually came from that was, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, improve upon it. So what I was, what I'm saying is about looking for the gaps. Where, when, whatever your job is, and whatever area you're in, and 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 maybe if you're not even in that area, you know, look for the gaps. How could this be better? What little thing? It doesn't have to be a huge thing. Uh, an example of this is um, ketchup bottles. I talked to my brother-in-law about this, my sister-in-law about this the other um, a couple of months ago. But ketchup bottles, right? Back in the day, you had the glass bottle, right? The glass bottle, um, you have to turn upside down, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, and then once you do, all this ketchup comes out of all of your food. So it's way more. Even if you love ketchup, it's too much. It's more than what you wanted, right? So if someone stopped and thought, okay, that's the problem. People don't want all that ketchup on their food, and some people want it actually on their food. They don't just want to put it on the side, and they don't want to waste it, because sometimes if you put it on the side, you're wasting it. So how can we fix it? You know what would be better? If we could control how much ketchup comes out of the bottle. Hence the squeeze bottles now, the little top. All someone did was can create a top that had a little rubber thing on there, and, uh, and you squeeze the bottle, and it comes out as much as you want, and it's all controlled, right? A small thing, just filling a gap, right? That was a gap, that was a problem people had, and it was a small thing, but it made a huge difference. And now, it has changed the, the face of the condiment world, period, because now all condiments use that, right? Mustard, relish, um, mayonnaise, yeah, salad dress, I mean, you name it, it's across the board now with different little variations, but it's about controlling how much you put on there. That's because someone's thinking about the gaps, right? So, and one of the things I was thinking, well, I don't want to give that idea away, but <laughs> but uh, as far as, so wherever you are, whether you're in a school, and it doesn't have to be major. I think a lot of people think that when you say look for the gaps, it has to be some big, huge, major thing. Like I got to revolutionize the entire world. It's not about that. It can be one small thing. There was a principal up north, uh, I forgot what his name was, he was on the Ellen Show. So if you watch the Ellen Show, you know exactly what I'm talking about. He was looking for the gaps. He said, kids aren't coming to school. Let me find out why they're not coming to school. The kids said, I'm not coming to school because uh, our, we have dirty clothes. Uh, we get bullied, we get picked on, we end up fighting, you know, I don't want to do that. We can't afford to wash our clothes, so we don't come to school. All right, so that's the gap. He said, okay, that's the gap. So we got to find a way to wash their clothes. What did he do? He ended up getting... Uh, uh, basically building a laundry room in the school that allowed the kids to wash their clothes. So they'd bring their clothes from home and wash clothes at school. Now the kids are coming to school. He, it was a small gap. It was a small thing. Just washing clothes. He filled that gap, right? Something like that. Put them on the Ellen Show. Another gap. He saw there's a lot of kids going out on the weekends and stuff like that, getting killed and, and things of that nature and hanging out with the wrong crowd. So he said, okay, how can I fix that? What did he do? He created an event at nighttime on Friday nights for kids to go to at the school, which was safe, and they get to hang out with their friends, don't have to worry about bad things happening. Small thing, huge difference. Now this man, we didn't want the Ellen Show, he got all this money, you know, he probably has other grants and stuff coming in. Why? Because he saw a problem, he saw something that was affecting people, he saw the gap, and he found a way to fill it. So, what I'm trying to tell you all is that wherever you are, even if you're not in a certain sector, right? Maybe you're driving along in a car, you know, like, you know what would be better? Oh, I'm going way too fast. You know what would be better if, I don't know, let me give you an example. Someone was sitting in a car and said, you know what would be great? If the passenger could control their own temperature on their AC vent. That would be great. Small thing. Makes a big difference. Because now you can have a cold on one side and then hot on the other side. That's a huge difference but it's a small gap. You're just thinking about ways to make other people's lives better. Not just your own, but other people's lives better. The, I'll give you another example of a gap, right? Parents wanna buy toys for the kids, but they don't wanna waste money on stuff the kids aren't gonna like. 
So what did they do? What did this or what did this family do? Oh, that's a problem I have. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy these toys. I'm gonna make a YouTube page. I'm not gonna have my kid play with them, and then people are gonna see all the fun you could have with them outside of a commercial. Like this is actual fun. This isn't scripted. And then that will then kids and parents can gauge whether they want to buy for their kids or not. Ryan's toy review, multi-million dollar um, YouTube pages, shows, product line. Why? Because they filled a gap. It was just, it, 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 people wouldn't even, it's just simple. It's just simple. All they did was think about to, to preview toys so all the parents can make a decision on whether they wanted to buy or not. And now they're making money hand over fist. And it's not that it's so much I mean, about the money, but it's more so about the influence they were able to make and how much they were to help people. So let me move away from even the, 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 the money sector, right? Let's move away from the money sector, all right? Let's go into um. Let's go into the business sector, okay? So you have businesses who um, customer service was uh, they were struggling with customer service, right? Maybe the people didn't know how to talk to um, to um, customers, or maybe they have their emotions get the best of them, or maybe they just don't know how to say how to talk. So what do they do now? Small thing. They record the conversation. Why do they record the conversation? So they can go back and review it later to find out how to make things better. And so now what do you have? All these businesses recording conversations and reviewing it. And so now you have better customer service. And I'm reading all these books and stuff. I realize and recognize how this even works. You have them saying, oh, you know, you know, uh, how are you doing today? You know, they sound pleasant. They're asking you how... Um, you know about what you need they empathize with your plight they don't get you know they don't get angry with you you know it's it small gap small gap you know that that's all it was they were able to fill one small gap and it makes a difference because now people want to come back people want to give them their business people feel comfortable right so my my purpose of making this video guys is just to help you all see that you doesn't have to be anything huge or major, all right? Put your mind in the mode to find the gap wherever you are, no matter what it is. Find the gap and then find a way to fill that gap, fill that need, help make people's lives better. That's how you end up becoming successful. You make other people's lives better. So that's pretty much all I have for you today. I'm probably gonna have to record this again, but um, because the noises and, you know, maybe inconsistencies or whatever, but, um, you all have a great day. Love you guys. Thank you for your support. And I'll be back with some more stuff later. All right. Take care. Bye. Faircliff Consulting Services, improving the world by improving you.